Ah, I just finished farming and I think I have enough materials to get at least one piece of equipment with good alchemy effects. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll talk about alchemy. This is a new function added to the game where we can put various effects to our weapon and armor. Let's start by analyzing how to put these effects into a piece of equipment. First you have to go to Edna's Resort. On the pre workshop, you'll find the Equipment Alchemy option. Here you will see your items, the alchemy effects and the amount of pre-prisms and pre-elixirs that you have. Both pre-prisms and pre-elixirs can be obtained by donating items and just like pop boosters, they are kind of rare, so use them carefully. The first time you use alchemy on an item, it will unlock its effects. An item can have up to 4 effects and depending if you're using alchemy on a weapon or a piece of armor, you will get different effects. From here you have two options. You can either use the alchemy button and reroll all the effects, or you can select a specific effect and use the realchemize button to reroll that specific effect. Alchemize uses pre-prisms and realchemize uses pre-elixirs. You can also lock an alchemy effect to guarantee that you won't reroll that effect by accident, but if you do that, you will lose the option to use the alchemize button. Having an alchemy effect on a piece of equipment doesn't necessarily mean it's active. Next to the description you will see a list of innocents. For the first effect, you have to have one of the species shown equipped, and for the others, you'll need to have all three species to activate their effects. You'll know when they are active because the innocents start glowing. Talking about alchemy effects, the first and second slots are always fixed effects. What changes are their values? The first effect will always be innocent effect up, which has a maximum value of 40%. For weapons, the second slot can be either critical rate up or critical damage up. The first goes up to 20% and the latter goes up to 100%. For armor, the second slot will be an increase to HP, defense or resistance. The maximum amount of HP you can get is 350,000. For defense and resistance is 287,500. For the third and fourth slot, there's a wide variety of effects. For weapons, we have damage up, SP Gen, Starting SP, Ailment Chance on Normal Attacks, Action Gauge at the start of battle, and Action Gauge Reduction with Normal Attacks. For armor there is Damage Reduction, HP Recovery, Ailment Resistance, and Action Gauge Reduction Resistance. As we mentioned, the first and second effects are fixed, so for most parties they will always be the same combination of effects. Innocent Effect plus 40%, Critical Damage plus 100%, and HP up by 350,000. If you want to go for critical rate, that's okay, but I prefer bigger numbers. For armor, HP is the most optimal because it covers both sides of the spectrum. The only situation where it's best to go for defense or resistance is if you get some kind of extra benefit. Healers would like the extra resist, and some of the new attackers in JP get to deal extra damage by adding a small percentage of their defensive stats. The first effect you want to put on your weapons on slot 3 and 4 are damage up effects. The effects which give bigger boosts are the one which increases damage to specific targets, and that's exactly the reason why they are not good enough. You want something versatile, so most people will go for skill damage up, gender damage up, and species damage up. Action gauge decrease is one of the best effects you can use for PvP, but for most challenging content, it isn't as good because the damage you do with normal attacks isn't worth the action gauge control. It's only worth it for characters which gain stats each turn, like Xenofuka and Death X. Action Gauge at the start of battle is a decent effect, but even 160 isn't that big of a deal for most cases. Both SP effects are the same as the previous one. They are good effects which might be game changers in specific situations, but in most cases, 10 SP at the beginning of battle and 5 SP at the start of turn isn't good enough, especially since we have a ton of SP batteries in the game and we're about to get more generic batteries. The ailment chance on normal attacks is probably the worst effect because most enemies in challenging content have some way of resisting them. For armor, the best effect is probably Action Gauge Reduction Resistance, because getting your Action Gauge reduced affects your score on challenging content like raids, and it will be one of the best effects when PvP arrives. Ailment Resistance is another good effect, although it's a little bit specific, it's worthwhile to make items which prevent paralysis, sleep, and forget, and equip them on someone who can cleanse the ailments from the party. Last are the damage reduction effects. This you can decide which is best for you. The damage reduction is very low, but if you stack them, it becomes good enough to use them. Probably the best effect are the damage reduction for gender, species, normal attacks and skills. I wouldn't recommend HP recovery because for challenging content you want to have a healer on your team, so that effect gets diminishing returns. We're almost done. Last I'll give you a couple tips you should take into consideration before spending your resources. 
get max effects on the slot 3 or 4, and then start using the re-alchemize button. These have more possible results than slots 1 and 2, which means it's more difficult to get the specific effect that you want. You can also use alchemy on your training and HL equipments. For this you want to get the maximum effect on slot 1, the other effects are irrelevant on this. Farm as much as you can. To make just one piece of equipment with maximum effects, you're going to need a ton of elixirs, so farm as many rank 4 equipments as you can. Get effects which work on different comps and for different targets. Versatility is more important than higher numbers. That's all for today folks, if you like the video, share, like, subscribe. Next is a video about power creep. See you then.